raised more than $1 million to benefit literacy and education projects. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the honorary co-chair of Bookstock and Detroit News columnist, Neil Rubin. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Delighted to be here. How are you graced with the job this year of honorary co-chair of Bookstock? Sounds like a whole lot of work for uh, not a whole lot of monetary compensation. <laughs> well, none of us make a dime. It's entirely volunteer driven, but I'm just passionate about getting books out of basements and back into people's laps where they belong. So it's just a wonderful fit. I've been honorary co-chair now for, oh, I don't know, six or eight years. and. As long as they're foolish enough to keep asking me, I'll keep coming back. What exactly is Bookstock? If folks have not yet been, uh, they should go, right? Uh, end of April, April 26th through May 3rd, what happens? Well, it's the largest used book and media sale in Michigan. It's at Laurel Park Place Mall in Livonia, which is on six mile just east of 275. And it's this week-long celebration of everything you can imagine to read. We raise money for literacy and education projects and uh, anything you might possibly be interested in, you can find at Bookstock one day or another because we keep replenishing the merchandise all week long, which is our little way of drawing people back again and again. And there's many ways to experience it, but if you are hardcore about getting the exact type of book that you want and you want first dibs, there's a pre-sale just for you on Sunday morning. Exactly. Sunday the 26th at 8.15 in the morning, there's a $20 admission. It's the only time there's an admission charge, otherwise it's just free during mall hours. But uh, for $20, you get first dibs, and I'm telling you, they come charging through the door. Do not get caught between a chef and the cookbook section. <laughs> <laughs> it's not safe. Um, but it is, it's just marvelous. The collectors come in and the, you know, the real aficionados and they're just in heaven. And then after that, every day sort of has a little special theme and whether it's a discount day or a, a teacher day, that type of thing. Exactly, I wonder sometimes if we do these things just to keep ourselves interested. <laughs> but, uh, oh, for instance, um, Monday with a purchase, you'll get an envelope with some sort of coupon in it that might be something really terrific. Uh, Tuesday is Teacher Appreciation Day. Um, show a valid teacher ID and it's 50% off and we have teachers stocking up their entire classrooms, particularly for the younger kids. Um, Wednesday and Thursday are what we call book busters. Uh, the buy four items and the least expensive one is free or buy 40 items and get 10 free would be what I'd recommend. And, uh, when, so that's, uh, and then Wednesday and Thursday also, if you spend at least $25, you get entered into a drawing to win um, a special sports related prize. Uh, we have an autographed Andre Drummond uh, from the Detroit Pistons shoe this year, which the collectors I'm told are gonna go nuts for. And a great package from Alita Sill, who was just elected to the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. Awesome bowler, I know Bingo. who she is. Yes, indeed. Yes. Probably the best Woman, bo woman bowler of our lifetime. First one to make a million dollars in prize money. Look you at, are you so touched good on at this. somebody. You are yeah, on top so of that it. is awesome. A lesson from Alita Sill, plus a couple of books from her partner, Michelle Mullen, who's also a pro bowling tournament winner. And uh, they will, you know, they'll sign them for you when you show up. Everything else, bookstock.info. All kinds of great stuff going on. You can get your books again April 26th through May 3rd at Laurel Park. Uh, we'll give out that website again so folks can go and get all the nitty-gritty details. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. For more information on the times and the dates and what to expect, you can visit bookstock.info. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Neil Ruman, Bookstock's honorary co-chair and Detroit News columnist.